Just before the General Motors bankruptcy in mid-2009, there was a tacit acknowledgement in the automotive press that many of the problems of the company in terms of a better product mix and a revenue-rich global strategy had already been addressed as long as five years before the financial crash triggered Carmageddon. So this week's announcement that the 103-year-old General Motors Corporation had a record profit of $7.6 billion for 2011, beating the previous $6.7 billion record posted in 1997, did not come as a total surprise. To put this relatively astounding news in perspective, this is not the same GM. It is a far smaller company, having jettisoned Saturn, Pontiac, Hummer, and Saab. And while still 26.5% owned by the U.S. government, it has far less debt, more rational labor obligations, and is better managed with far less waste and corporate pork. When GM was down for the count, being an apologist for Detroit was not very popular. But at the same time, the smart moves made a decade before the crash by now disgraced GM chairman Rick Wagner were salient details that should not have been so easily dismissed. This is George Polgar of GT Marketing for KYW News Radio.